Hey guys, so today is going to be my Ipsy unbagging and I actually have, what a month are we in, November? I actually have October and November here and the reason that I waited from last month is because for some reason I get my bag late in the month and for November I ended up getting it early so I figured I would just kind of combine them and tell you what I think. So to be honest, this is probably going to be my last month of Ipsy. I actually tried to cancel the box this past month and for some reason I never got the confirmation cancel email and so I have still been receiving my bag and for whatever reason. So anyway, this will probably be my last Ipsy unbagging here on my channel because I don't think I'm going to stay with Ipsy. One bag I was kind of okay with, the other I was eh about. So anyway, let's go ahead and do the October bag. So for October, it was this like gold, metallic gold and black patent leather on the back. Um, I actually really like the bag. I think it's cute. I like the fact that it's a little bit wider than it is tall. And I did kind of like the goodies that were in here. Let's go ahead and just dig in. The first thing is a nail polish. This is gel effect nail lacquer from Aurora no UV needed and I got the color inky dinky <laughs> it's like a very deep dark plummy purple it almost leans towards like a black blue but it definitely is a deep plum so I don't really have anything like this I don't think so it'll go in my collection nicely I recently well not recently I'm several months ago de-stashed a bunch, a bunch of my nail polishes and I'm down to one rack on my wall since I was like moving everything around. So I'm not really into collecting nail polishes as of right now because I have every color that I need. But it's always nice to get a new one if you're not looking for it, I guess. The next thing I got is a Balanced Guru Scrub Me Nice and Gritty Body Scrub. And it looks like this. It's a really good size. Although I have a pretty big body, so um, it's sealed. I'm not going to open it, but it almost seems like it's, oh, it's like a, a salt scrub. Okay, so it's like literally salt. You actually have to activate it with water. And it says you can use on your face, but massage softly. So I will have to try that. I really do like um, body scrubs in general, and I like the fact that it's dry, so you don't have to worry about it like drying out or getting gross or anything like that. And then I got a Pure Vanilla, La Vanilla little um, fragrance. Is this a rollerball? Let me see. Yeah, a little rollerball. It smells good. It smells like vanilla. It smells nice. So that's always nice to throw in the purse. And then this I saw on a bunch of other people's Ipsy unbaggings. It is the Balm Meet Matte Hughes. And it's a... Um, long lasting liquid lipstick and it's just this little guy super cute I actually already swatched this to see what it looked like the color's nice it's not anything you know crazy I'm sure I have it something like it in my collection but it was nice so we'll have to give that a try and then I can't remember I think I got this in here it's a coastal scents um what are you express line in zero one and it's a very feels like a very cheapy liner black liner not very black and you definitely have to scrub to get pigmentation so not a huge fan of that and then I've been accumulating points either from you guys signing up through my ipsy or you know like sharing on my Facebook and stuff like that every single month so I did pick up two things from their little rewards category see and that's the only thing like about canceling that I don't know is if you lose your points or if you can still redeem stuff I really don't know but they had the Pixie by Petra Shades of Brow Mini Brow Trio. So I thought I would pick this up. And honestly, on the website, this looks so much bigger. I mean, look at this. It's like really, really teeny tiny. But it has um, three different brow shades in it. And I would bet that I would be this one right here. Or I could mix the lighter with the darker and probably make it work. But, you know, with brow shadow, you really don't need a whole lot. So that's fine. And then I also picked up the Smashbox. Uh, always sharp waterproof coal liner and this one is in the color Raven so I'm guessing it's black yep and these these are cool because oh yeah so much more smooth than the coastal scents and it actually doesn't look like a true black it almost looks like a gray black but these are really cool because every time you twist it on and twist it off it sharpens it for you it's this one right here and 
then that way it's always sharp and you don't have to worry about sharpening it. So I thought I would give that a shot and for points, you can't beat it. So that was October's bag. I was kind of eh about it. That's when I was like, you know what, I'm just going to cancel. It's not even worth it. And then like I said, all of a sudden I noticed my account was charged and um, it's because I never got the confirmation delete email. So it is what it is. Um, this bag wasn't that impressed with. This is for November. It's like a galaxy. The colors are really pretty, but the material is super cheap, and I just really am not a fan. And I didn't like, I don't think, one thing in the bag. So the first thing is big and bulky. This is the Novex Brazilian Keratin Protect, Protect and Repair Hair Food Extra Deep Hair Care Cream. Um, let's see. It is sealed? Okay. Mm. I guess it's like a hair moisturizer. It's a deep treatment. So you can put it in your hair, um, dry, and leave it in for three minutes and then rinse well. It has like kind of a medicine smell to it. It was sealed, but I broke the seal. So we'll have to see. I'm not a huge fan of like treatments to put on your hair while it's wet. I much prefer to put on a treatment while I'm in the shower, but you know, I'm always willing to give it a try. I have curly hair, so my hair stays dry like year round. Sorry if I sound like gross, I have a bad cough. Anyway, um, this next thing is a Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics and it's a liquid gossamer. It's a liquid luminizer. I'm kind of weary about these ones too. I'm not a huge fan of um, liquid illuminators. I would much rather use like a Benefit High Beam than any other liquid. Oh wow, so it comes in a little tube like this the hole for it's pretty big and the product is really liquidy um so let's see oh but it's really pretty so i don't know if you guys can see it here it's really really liquidy so i could definitely see how this would like take off your makeup if you put it on top of foundation but it does have just like a nice sheen to it if you want to just dab it on the cheekbones or if you want to wear it under makeup or mix it with foundation. I could see how that would work really nicely. Next, same thing. I'm not really a fan of these like individual shadows. This one is um, INSPR Inspire maybe? Inspire Beauty um, eyeshadow in the color of Carnival. It's a pretty color. But, you know, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of individual shadows. I just, I don't reach for them very often. I, I find myself actually not reaching for them at all. And so they pile up in my collection and for what? I just get rid of them. There it is right there. It's a really pretty color, but again, I just don't reach for the individual shadows. This I'm excited about because I do like this mascara. It's a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I'm not going to open it because right now I have probably 12 mascaras open. I'm just going to add it to the little sample pile, but I do like this mascara, so that's cool. And then the last thing is, is the Trustique Mini Matte Lip Crown in Chile Red. Or Chili Red? Some I would say Chile Red. I got um, one of these in a shadow stick. I want to say it was like greenish of color of some sort, and I really liked it. So let's see... Oh yeah, and this seems like it would be something I'd be interested in too. There's a color of it there. It's like a red-orange, very warm tone red. Really, really pretty. I like that a lot. So that I'm excited about, but that's probably the only thing in the mascara that I was excited in November's bag. It is what it is. I did cash in some points this past month, uh, or in the beginning of November, for I think they had a ColourPop eyeshadow set of some sort. I cashed in those points, but honestly, you guys, I'm probably going to be canceling my Etsy, which saddens me because it's only $10 a month, but it's $10 wasted if I'm not going to use the product. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are still into Etsy, if you still get your monthly bag, if you've canceled, or if you've moved on to something else that you find is much more worth your $10 subscription uh, payment. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!